So I'm going to quickly talk about where and how you might want to use video um, now that you're geared up on its ability to create an engaging story. Now, you want to do this stuff, but you think, A, it's too expensive, B, it's just for advertising and top of funnel, it's hard to convert people from video, video doesn't integrate with the tools I have. These are all myths that are no longer true these days. So I'm going to quickly myth bust these as we talk through how you can do video and where you can use it effectively. So the myth of video is too hard to create and too expensive. That is only true if your perspective of video is that big brand video and that video that's going to sit on the homepage of your website. Are those videos expensive and difficult to do? Maybe, depending on how grandiose you want to go. And you probably want to work with an agency partner to create those videos that are going to last a long time or get a lot of in-market promotion. But more and more, video is about supporting the whole buyer's journey. It's about creating personal connections. It's about educating your audience on a quick idea. It's about conversational social content. And you can create all of that with the tools that you have today. And I, I promise you that. If you have a smartphone and a laptop or a PC, you can create great video content today after going and watching maybe an hour's worth of video on YouTube on how to cre create videos, right? With your smartphone, with the simple you know, cameras that you can get out there, you wanna step it up, you get a, bit, a wireless mic to make sure your audio is great. But don't be afraid to start thinking about how can I capture videos on the tools I have today? How can I use free or near free video editing software to trim it down, to put a little graphic at the front and get it down into my community? It can be really quick and easy to do. This is an example, I was at another event two weeks ago in um, San Diego, and I just brought with me my, my iPhone, I have like a selfie stick that turns into a little tripod, and um, I use Camtasia as my editing software, and I would simply record interviews with people live, drop it into Camtasia, add a little bumper, and publish it. And while I was there, I, you know, I did about 15 different videos with people on site, and these all turn into little interviews that go out on our blog, they go out in our email newsletters, and they, we use them on social, and all of a sudden I have way more content um, than you know, I would have if I tried to write stories about all these. And the great thing is once you have the video, you can transcribe it and use the text for an article. Um, and there's all sorts of different ways that you can share this content. Um, and there's also great tools out there for doing like DIY video which is, you know, maybe you don't want to actually get in front of the camera and record. There's tools to do quick screen capture videos and then publish them. You can do animated videos, right? My nine-year-old son uses Powtoon to create little animated videos about I don't even want to know what. But it's really simple to use and you can, you know, go in there, create some little animated uh, uh, characters and create a quick little explainer video. Doodly is a neat one for doing like uh, these like whiteboard drawing style videos where a little hand will come up and it looks like it's drawing on a whiteboard to draw pictures with a voiceover narrative. These tools are all super accessible today. And if you're intimidated by them, ask around within your organization, right? Ask around in your family and friends, right? Who creates videos? Who does video editing? And I think it's time for us to start to learn how to do these things as a part of um, how we do business.